it looks like a shadow cast on a wall. And that's what Islam does. It uses the shadow. They don't even have to do another jihad. All they got to do is speak of one thing and we see orange, the orange code and man, we all freak. They already got us. So when I realized that was how they were holding me and how they're holding our country hostage and other countries and other women, my goal is I go across trying to get women to not be fearful. What are you going to do? And then I walk through, of course, then I went back to college and got my counseling degree and, and all that stuff. But anyway, fear will kill us. And if we stay in our little corner, so afraid of what they're going to think or what they're going to do to us, they've already got us. We might as well just go to our beds and forget it and let them build their mosque. And then when Muhammad's uncle said this to me, I realized I had the answer. He said to me, you know, Katrina, we don't appreciate the family, what you're doing. I didn't think you did. You know, every time they'd send me a track, I'd rebuttal it and send it back to them. You know, he said, but we sure admire it. I went, whoa. He said, I wish we, we wish you, we knew that you were that strong of a person when you were this long. We could have used that. <laughs> you see, they admire. That's how I can, I'm being asked all over the country to go into imams and they'll close their chambers and talk to me where they won't talk to other people because they don't intimidate me, first of all. I'll get right back in their face because you're not going to intimidate me because I know whom's I am. <laughs> and you can't take my life until it's time. And if it's time, it's time. So I'm in a win-win situation. All right, we've got time for two more questions. Okay. Can y'all tell I'm a little passionate about this? Amen. I love what I do. <laughs> it, it seems that they are extremely organized, as you said. They are Disorgan the most organized that should be organized. Anyways, Disorganized organization right. you've ever met, yes. They seem to be much more organized than Christianity. And they seem to be long-term thinkers, where Christianity seems extremely short-term in their thinking and strategy. There is a surah that said, speed is of the devil in Islam. You see, we're impatient. We want it now. We're so fast food, fast everything. Islam doesn't teach that. It doesn't matter how long it takes. The goal is to win, no matter how long it takes. Katrina, um... Alan, myself, and some other people in this room go out and confront uh, a lot of these imams. One of the gentlemen said he was at one, mm -hmm. uh, where they're always whitewashing or dis deceiving, holy deception, takia, whatever you want to talk yeah. to further right. Islam. Mm -hmm. For every Katrina out there speaking, there's about a thousand, or well, probably not a thousand, but probably about, about 150, 200 imams speaking three or four times a week in every, pretty much every major city. I know that right now, um, almost every week we have five in Jacksonville, three or four here in Orlando. Right. I don't see us winning this without awakening the church. And what we found is most of the church does not want to get engaged in this subject. How are you finding the same things? And how can we wake up the church and get pastors to reach out to other pastors to get them engaged? Well, all I can tell you is I remember at the beginning of this, I felt like I was digging cement with a plastic fork. Okay. But I am seeing awakening and all I can do and all you can do is just keep doing it. Because eventually it will work if we just keep on keeping on. It's like the little choo-choo train that said he could, that he couldn't, but he could. And if we're out there blasting and using everything that we can possibly get our hands on, like I said, I'll speak to one or I'll speak to thousands. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll train. I'll teach. I'm available. Use me so I can teach you so you can go out and do what I do. Use, use my story, find story, whatever. That's how we got to do it. Know, know the truth. Know the truth. You know, get your material. Get this material. Know the truth so you can combat the lies. Exactly. And that's, you know, there's so much deception out there. That's right. And, and the basic thing is Christianity is true. It it's is. rooted in history. The historical evidence is there. Islam is not rooted in history. It's rooted in a cave experience that Muhammad imagined. There's no historical evidence for this religion. Preach it, brother. 
And we, you know, and, and it's there. We have to speak the truth. But the pastors are afraid. They're they are afraid. afraid to deal with this issue. We want to sweep everything under the carpet. Uh, and that, that's our problem. And, but there were 12 men that changed the world. That's right. Right. Katrina, real quick. Um, when we're out talking to imams or the MS uh, Muslim Students Association, right. and they ask us uh, what version of the Quran we're getting our oh, surahs out of. You know, recently we've been using uh, Usama Dadak's translation. Which one's a bit? And, and they blow us off and say, now that, that doesn't count. What version should we be using? They're going to blow you off no matter what version really? you use. No. The, and the thing is, is, is really the debating issues, that's why you've got to find, an, uh, not that it doesn't work and not that I haven't done it a lot, but debate brings hate. If they're legitimate questions and they really want to hear, that's fine. But I think we're a little bit too busy trying to debate with Muslims instead of waking up the general American public. That's the way we're going to win it. We're not going to win it by debating a Muslim. If they really want to know the truth, I'll take the time. But if they, they email me with about 20,000 questions, because just trying to throw confusion and mess up my time, you know, I won't, even, I, won't, I won't even usually write them back or I'll just say, forget it. Well, You're wasting my time. Well, they have entrenched themselves in all of our colleges and universities. Absolutely. What's, what's the best way for us to uh, combat that? Get to the people, not the Muslims. Get to the other people. Right. We've got to speak to the general public. We've got to speak to the Congress. We've got to speak to the state representatives. We've got to be a voice. We've got to be on the doorsteps of our capital. That's how we're going to change this and keep it from advancing. Debating with a Muslim is not going to win you anything. A round of applause for Katrina. No, it's not me. Thank you.